contortionist exoplanet. 48 minutes. It's about 20 minutes less than Sky Harbor Guiding Light. I had not heard of them until like a month or two ago, and then I listened to Language, and I love that album. That's probably my- I think I said it in the video, but it's probably my favorite prog album of all time. I loved Language. Amazing. Exoplanet I've heard is a bit different. Let's go, let's go, let's go, I'm hyped. Exoplanet Redux, go! Alright, I got the head banging down. Yeah, this is far removed from language. Ooh. Yes. That's good. The vocals sound very Meshuga. Where he like lengthens the ends of the the phrases. Under predicts I won't like this as much as other contortionist stuff. We'll see. He said the title of the song. Let's go! Way more chaotic than language, but still really good. First impressions? Very interesting. Very different from language. But still very good. It feels way more chaotic and all over the place, and a little bit more... Uh, I don't want to say more proggy in song structure, but... Proggy in a different way. Where are the lyrics? There's no lyrics up here on, on Spotify. Whoa, 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 wait, go back, hang on there. Oh, there it is, there it is again. Yeah, there's like this... There's like something like that, it sounds like a low alarm. This is a bit more languagey. That's so sci-fi, I love it. The little, like, twinkling. Oh, this is beautiful, what? This is amazing. Is that a little piano I heard? Into a jazzy chord, okay. Heavy drop. That's sick. Was, was that- is that a- is this a swarm of locusts I'm hearing? Very out of nowhere. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. That section was so weird. That was like a... Obviously a lot heavier than the piano part, but those chords were very like... But I don't know, it's, it's strange because it's got like parts that I really, really like. And then there's other stuff where it's, it's very chaotic, which can be good. But it feels like something I need to listen to more to really get the hang of. And then, like, what is this? Like, <laughs> there's so many changes. It makes for an interesting listen, though. You don't know where it's gonna go. Oh, come on. That could have kept going for another minute or so. <laughs> this is a good riff. I like this part. I like this. The layered screams and melody. Okay, this song feels more cohesive as a song. This synth, bro. It's a synth. This is so good. That's good, that's good. Okay, this slaps too. This, yeah. Yeah. Favorite song so far. Yeah, this part's good. Ooh, chord change.
This chord progression here... This sounds very futuristic and sci-fi to me, I don't know. You know what? This is, um, it's from a movie soundtrack. Hunger Games. It's the it's the like big entrance theme when they come to the capital in Hunger Games. Yeah, it also sounds like um, Lord of the Rings. I guess they're like like the Rivendell theme a little bit, but the chord progression is different. Has those kinds of feels for me. Okay, what? This came out of nowhere. Alright, maybe this is good. I think this might take a few listens. Definitely banger riff. What was that? I can't do I I, I can't do screams very well. I like screams like that. Who else does that? That's a fun riff. Ooh, the like background crowd ambience. That's cool. All right, we got a tundra approved section coming up here. Oh. That goes hard. <laughs> yes, Genji guitars, let's go. And then it's just ooh. This is very pleasant. I love the bits of melodic coherence amidst the chaos. I think that's what might sell this album for me. I feel like I'm playing Dead Space. I need to finish Dead Space. I started playing the original a while ago, and then I got like maybe halfway through the remake. Oh, the glitchy vocals? That was sick. That sounds like a doom metal riff. Dun, dun, dun. This is so wildly far removed from anything language did, it's insane. Okay. I'm a fan. I like this. Definitely gonna put more contortionist on the bulls. Okay. Okay, nice. This feels like, if I, I don't know, I'm putting myself like in... I don't know the story of this album, but I'm putting myself in this... Mindset of like being on a spaceship for this ambient stuff. And this feels like either like looking out the window into the vastness of space or like just putting on this suit and going out and just being in space and just floating around. And it's like very, very peaceful but somehow eerie. Yeah, you're right. I haven't, I haven't liked everything, but there's been some pretty great moments in here. That I, I've really enjoyed. This atmosphere is amazing. This is a vibe. Ooh. This feels very language. Nice and jazzy. Whoa! Great key change. Oh. I'm getting chills from this. Did Drew listen to this? What did Drew think of this? If he if he listened to it, he liked it. Wow. Okay. But he didn't like language. Yeah, I'm actually shocked. Yeah, I know this is only an interlude track, but this is very good. 
What is this, an egg shaker? A little egg shaker action in here? <laughs> this goes hard. Yep. Certified banger already. Jazzy? Jazzy? Nice. Uh, happy lead! Let's go! Why does this sound like Dance Gavin Dance? Okay, alright. I'm a sucker for this kind of stuff. This is good. Ah, uh, the burping vocals. Okay, yep, yep, that hits, that hits, that's good. There's the locust swarm again, they're back. We're back to the happy section, yeah! I, I actually like this, yeah. No, I, it, it... I get what you're saying, Tundra, about it being cheesy, but I think, I think it's fun. I like it. It's a 1-4 major 7 chord progression. I, I love that stuff. Last two tracks of the album. What's it gonna hit me with? And I got stuff like this is, is alright, but... Doesn't hit quite as much as just a, a good melody chord progression does. This is a little bit more mid. Exoplanet 1 was good. This one I'm not- this track I'm not feeling as much. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh! What is- What is that? What is that like? Bing! That was interesting. Yeah, this is like- It's- it's too chaotic. Is this a corn lead? What's happening? Do you like this? I don't hate it, I don't hate it. It's not bad. It's interesting. See, now we're getting some good atmosphere. Now, if this... If this goes into like a nice melodic section and then it maybe builds up a little bit towards the end and then it kind of dies off- YES! YES! Do this! Yes! Let the bass shine with some guitar ambience. This is good! I like this! Yeah! This slaps! Oh yes! Get that guitar in there. Do a little solo. How is this gonna end? I don't know what's gonna happen. Yo, we're we gonna vibe like this to the end? That could be cool. Alright, we're getting a little weird now. No, I'm being- I'm just being, like, harsh just for fun, mostly. Mostly. I don't hate this. No, this is good. It's fun. Is that it? We just gonna... Weird. Not a bad album by any means. I think it's complexity and the chaotic nature of it is kind of its downfall.